wands to weave spells, cast spells, or channel spells. And when they needed help, they would consult the magis or the mediums of the day. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Longo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. But other than that, we've got a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You can just head there and enjoy the content that's been put out so far. Other than that, you can find us on uh, we've got podcasts, so you can find us on iTunes and Podbean. We go by the name of um, Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. Yes, I was going to put two put it all. But then uh, we also have a Patreon, so you, if you guys want to become members, just head there and feel free to become a member. A big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing, commenting, um, giving us things to do, interacting with us, um, giving us the morale to go on each and every day. We thank you very much. A big shout out to you guys. I hope you're doing okay. And may you get more blessings with each day that uh we conquer so today as you can tell from the title and for everything that i've mentioned for everything that i've mentioned you can find in the description box below you can find the links there so as you can tell from the title today i'll be reacting to shaitan's media exposed merciful servant uh, so without wasting time let's get into the video television we know is harmful it's a low-grade addiction according to studies in the United States. Um, watching a lot of television is harmful. We know that in the first trimester, a lot of being on the computer, women that work on computers that are pregnant in the first trimester, it's actually dangerous to the fetus, which means an aborted fetus means that it wasn't viable. And the reason it wasn't viable is because of the electromagnetic uh, field. So you're in these fields that are, that are actually quite harmful we're we're a guinea pig generation we don't know what a lot of this stuff is doing to our brains but we do know for instance that attention deficit disorder is is much more prevalent than it's ever been Al autism is becoming one of the most widespread uh illnesses in 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 children i mean the autism the numbers the, and the rates of autism are very terrifying so a lot of this is the technology i'm not anti-technology but I think the technology has to be controlled and that we have Facebook addiction. We have people that just can't get off the Facebook. Um, I call FB, I call it fitna book. In fact, Imam al-Ghazali quotes in one of his Nasiha books where he says, Kull al-fitn tanshaw an thirathati nafar. All of fitna come from three people. Qa'il al-akhbar. Those newscasters, news seekers, and news consumers. All of tribulation in the world comes from those three. And this is why it's created so much fitna in the world. And people need to understand that this technology is new technology and we, the Prophet, one of the signs he said, he's, uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu he said, uh, he asked if the, the hour had signs and, and the Prophet said, Ya Ibn Mas'ud, inna li sa'ati asharata, the, the, the hour has signs. And then he said, wa min asharatiha an tuwasil al-atbaq wa tuqta' al-arham. He said that the atbaq would be continuous and the people would sever their kinship bonds. Now in the traditional tafsirs, they said it would mean they would eat one plate after another. When I read that hadith, it didn't convince me that that was the meaning. And I really believe that the meaning of that is muwasarat al in, in North Africa, they called the satellite dish tabaq, which is a correct ta'rib because sahan is a flat dish. Tabak is a curved dish because it's made of tabakat. And if you look at satellites, dishes, they have these tabakat on them, atbaq. And the word in modern Arabic for satellite communications is muwasalat. So the very same word he used that they will watch dishes. They will, tuwasal al-atbaq, the dishes will be 
continuous. Their communication will be continuous. Min kulli hadabin yansilun. From every high place, the, they, the yajuj and majuj would come down. And hadab in Arabic means wave. Hadab al mawj. In Lisan al Arab, it's one of the meanings of wave. And so we've got these waves of fitan, of pornography, of filth. Of, 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 of foulness and Muslims are drinking these things up and in the book of Fitan the Prophet ﷺ said in Sahih Muslim he said تُعْرَضَ عَلَى الْقُلُوبِ إِنَّ الْفِتْنَ سَتُعْرَضُ عَلَى الْقُلُوبِ كَالْحَصِيرِ that the, the, all of the fitan seductive things will be exposed to the hearts and then he said like hasir like a, a matrix and again, the early ulama, they didn't, they didn't understand what that meant. Because he says, udan, udan, horizontal and vertical lines. If you look at all the satellite dishes, they're matrixes. They all have, they look just like hasir mats. mats. Oh, wow. And, and now all these fitan are coming into the hearts. And the Prophet said that those hearts that drink it, they won't reject evil. Because you, your children are growing up accustomed to foulness. They'll think all of this is normal. Human beings have a fitra. The Prophet said, how will you be when you, when you ta'muruna bil munkar? Wa tunkirun al ma'roof. How will you be when you start commanding to evil and forbidding good? That this is what happens when people drink this stuff up. And the Prophet said that their hearts will become black and dark. And this is, you can see this, what kind of sick society would build games for children where you kill people to get rewards? What kind of a sick society? That's a society that thrives on war. That's a society that its number one business is armaments manufacturing. It's a society that wants to spread strife in the world. And, and our society is, we're called Darus Salam, the abode of peace. Allah calls to the abode of peace. And that's why we should really, the young people have to be, understand what's happening to them. They have to understand what these things really mean. They're wasting their, your time. Uh, Shaitan is the great time waster. He steals your time. And then before you know it, you're dead and your life is over and you, you're unprepared to go into the next dimension. Alright, so look, here's the deal. They have been desensitizing us since we were born. And I'll give you some examples. Let's start with the big one. Let's start with words we hear all the time and never even think about. Let's start with the word entertainment. To entertain. What does that mean? To bind or hold. To bind or hold what? An audience's attention. Okay, now let's take the word Hollywood. Where does that come from? Well, Hollywood comes from the holly tree. And the ancient Druids back in the day used to take the holly tree, make wands, to weave spells, cast spells, or channel spells. And when they needed help, they would consult the magis or the mediums of the day to help channel their spells to the population. We'll cut to today. What do we have in our houses? We have these black boxes. What are they called? TVs. But if you stop and you say the word, tell a vision, television. And when you turn on that television, what do you get? What's the first thing that pops up? A list of channels. And when you turn on those channels, what's on those channels? Programming. They are programming you. They've been programming your whole life. You don't even know it. They do it with your music. They do it with your TV. They do it with your movies. They do it with your games. They have been programming us and programming you since you were little and you don't even know it because you don't even question it. Starting in 1900, we entered a previously unimaginable time of modern technology. Advances that allowed the rulers of this world to construct and direct our stories in ways we previously never imagined. As a result, new techniques to control the population were realized. These are the people from the companies that we have trusted to deliver us our news and tell our stories. This has always been about controlling what we as the population think and hear. They help create our culture and influence our society. 
We as citizens only trust them because as a society, we think that the gatekeepers have our best interest in mind. The dangerous, you know, edges here are that he's trying to undermine the media, trying to make up his own facts. And it could be that while unemployment and uh, the, the economy worsens, he could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that is the that is if our you, job. Yeah. That is if our you job. That is if, our job. If, our job. As I was researching. I found that most of the early communication companies were developed for shipping or aviation. And a lot of the men that started these companies were commissioned by the military during World War I and World War II. Many of these men worked for the Army and Navy Intelligence Services along with the OSS, which we know became the CIA. There were many examples of these men becoming the heads or founders of some of the biggest motion picture and media companies before and after their government or military service. I wanted to know if, how many of the media companies in today's world connected back to Washington. So I started looking. It was like a family tree. The connections between our government personnel and the media corporations was unbelievable. Google, Amazon, Netflix, Twitter, CNN, ABC. So what would happen if all these companies had the same political ideology or agenda? We as this population like to hear people confirm our confirmation biases. We like to hear people tell us that we're right. We don't like to be wrong. And we believe that the people on the media and the people that we're listening to have our best interests in mind. The problem is, so what if they don't? So if you stop and think about it, they can place any agenda on the population that they choose. I think that Hollywood is teaching bad morals to the youth of this country, as well as adults. Desensitizing of violence to the masses. You can't deny that. My kids have seen so many people get killed in very violent ways. Three times as much gun violence now. And the, the sex that's in PG-13 movies. Why? Every Disney movie, there's a major character, usually a parent, that gets killed. Trauma to the child, why? It's so horrible, what a bad story. Why do you need to start a story with a parent dying? Always, it's, it's so sad. Under MK Ultra, they experimented on children. We were even taught this in psychophysiology program that if you get to a child between ages one and six or one or eight, with especially with sexual abuse or sexual trauma, you will split their personality and they will be imprinted the rest of their life. And many times that results in split personalities and disassociative behavior and other things. These occult topics are being introduced to our kids and most parents aren't even aware of it. So the biggest surge with this occult type material took place in the late 60s and the early 70s with movies like The Exorcist, Amityville Horror, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, and Roman Polanski's Rosemary's Baby. And coincidentally, this same time period, it parallels the rise of the Church of Satan in Los Angeles and it was founded by a guy named Anton LaVey. When I was a police officer, uh, we had cases of satanic cults right in Arlington, Virginia. Those have been around for decades. They're in the high schools, they're in the colleges, they're in the government, and they're in Hollywood. I got to meet people like Sammy Davis and that kind of shit. Dude. Sammy told me he worshiped the devil. Sammy was like, you know, Satan is as powerful as God. And I was like, what the f what are you talking about? He says, why do you think there's so much anger in the world and you know, killing and murder and uh, Satan? And, and he saw my reaction to it, and he kind of lightened up on it. Buddy. And he was like, and Dan Tanner, this dark, and he said, the candles on the table and Sammy's face over the candle. You know, Satan is as powerful as God. From our point of view, it really makes no difference whether you pray to a father god or to a mother goddess or to an entire gaggle of gods and goddesses. Michael Aquino was a high-level officer in the National Security Agency. 
Uh, he was and is, you'll see him today, a practicing Satanist. Uh, he created the Satanic Temple of Set, which he still runs. He was a high-level NSA officer. He's a member of the association I used to be in, uh, the Association of Former Intelligence Officers, AFIO. He's a member of that. He's plugged in big time to the intelligence uh, community. And he wrote a paper called Mind War. And Mind War was about uh, psychological operations against, po against populations, including uh, the American, the domestic population, using uh, Satanist techniques and tools. Just when it's getting better, uh, it ends. Uh, it's really sad that we have to watch something like this to be reminded what's going on or how the media is using whatever they put before us to um to control us many people why do people even argue why do you have to be told that um this is not right and the fact that the and the fact that children under the age of one or maybe when they're born to the age of is it six or eight he mentioned if they're so vulnerable what can you and i do different if I have children, I think I'll do things differently. Not every time the child cries, the child is on TV. Not every time, whatever the case is, you're in front of TV. That's why we have all these materials up to you. And I, after watching such things and looking into them, and I wish uh, my boyfriend is on that reaction to this because he likes all these things. Because he's done his research, he knows what's going on. And it's just, I don't know. At the end of the day, we have this reminder or this one, you know, whatever you want to take this as. Don't just believe in everything that the media puts upon us. Because the media lies and it's not the first time. Donald Trump calls uh, news fake. So why can't you think for yourself? If um, just because many people are basing their beliefs on whatever he said, be the one that's different examine what what's put in front of us let's just not take in oh we've got this much cases now oh you start panicking fearing whatever the case is and look into whatever is presented before you guys and let's take care of ourselves and let's take care of the next generation from us be it your children nieces whatever the case is otherwise this was an interesting video to look at a big shout out to the person that suggested it thank you thank you and thank you very much and make sure to Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.